y'all i just finished up that dollar general and i was able to score all these items you see here for just 19 cents each and stay tuned to the end because i also included a game scenario as well where you can grab these items for just a dollar 91 each hey y'all welcome back it's d so let's head inside of dollar general so we can save over 50 percent or more on things we're going to be paying for anyway but be sure to take a second and like the video for me subscribe and then y'all leave me a comment below let me know where y'all are from and what the weather's like so y'all i'm in the parking lot getting ready to head inside of dollar general so i can take advantage of this five off of 25 digital coupon so on saturdays you get your total to 25 dollars, and you're going to save an additional five dollars with that coupon so i'm going to show you my personal haul from start to finish but remember y'all if you're one that's struggling with couponing or you truly want to expedite your couponing journey, you're tired of overpaying, maybe you have debt you're trying to pay off, maybe you're that college student that really needs to stretch your dollar, be sure to reserve your spot because I am hosting a live three-day couponing workshop September 5th through the 7th. So that's a Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time each day. So in this workshop, Day one, we're going to go over some beginner couponing information. So maybe you want to know where you can find coupons. Where's the best place to coupon at? What is a coupon? What's a paper coupon versus a digital coupon or where you can find it? Day two, we're going to get into the more advanced couponing tips, how to stack your coupons, how to use rebate apps, how to create a stockpile, how to sell items from your stockpile, you name it. And then day three, y'all, I'm going to show you some different strategies and techniques on how you can save up to $300 or more by Christmas, which is like four months away, y'all. So if you're interested in reserving your spot, be sure to head over to my website, heyomd.com. But I did make it easy for you. You can just click the link down below for just $39. So y'all think I give y'all a lot of information with the free content. Just imagine the knowledge you're going to get from this workshop for just $39. And remember, this information is gonna last a lifetime. So again, reserve your spot today for just $39. Heyomd.com, or again, click the link down below. But y'all, let's head inside of Dollar General so I can show you how to maximize your savings and not pay full price on things you're gonna pay for anyway. And y'all, like I always say, the goal is not to pay full price. So I see a lot of like the Christmas trim, a gift and trim a tree. Like some of the Christmas items are on 50% off. So this is why it's also important to scan, which is why in this workshop, I'm gonna really dive deep and really show you how you can maximize your savings. But be on the lookout for Christmas items if you need them. Looks like they're gonna be 50% off. Uh, it started August 20th through the 26th. So you have until today, if maybe you do wanna take advantage of these particular savings. All right, y'all, so I'm not 100% sure on what I really wanna do. Nothing really like, stood out to me that I just like that I just like had to do um y'all know I always like to get stocked up on food so I might do a food deal with that three dollar uh digital where like you buy the drink and the um where you buy the Frito-Lay chip and then you buy the Pepsi product and you save three dollars with that coupon I might do that because y'all know I always like the uh, coupon food and I know couponing and groceries can definitely be a struggle. So we'll definitely dive deep into that in the workshop and different. I'll give you different strategies and techniques on how you can save on groceries. So I'm going to just grab these munchies like I did last week. They're $3.45. They do attach to that $3 coupon. And then now I need to pick up a uh, drink to go with it. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and grab just a Pepsi 2 liter. But remember, switch it to your preference. You could get like the Mountain Dew or if your store has some other other 2 liter Pepsi um, drinks, you could grab those as well. I was hoping that it attached to um, this one, the ginger ale, but it doesn't if you're wondering. So I'm just going to grab the Pepsi, get that added as my item to go with my chips. So I can use that $3 digital coupon. All right, y'all, so I'm actually going to change it up a little bit. I'm actually going to get a dip instead of a chip. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to grab this mild cheddar one. And these are actually 330 And I'm going to test it and see if I still get that coupon uh, to come off. If not, I'll just, of course, switch it for a chip. But $3.30, and then I have my Pepsi for $2.50. So let's get this added. And remember, y'all, check out my scenario video because maybe you're one that wants to grab some other items. Um, maybe you want to grab the lays that are two for six this week or some of the other participating products. So like I always say, cater it to your need. You could even grab some of the other 
like sauces if maybe you want to grab those so again so many different options so many ways to switch it to your preference and y'all i noticed that that coupon we had for the caesar dog food reset and y'all know i like to get this one right here so if you need dog food you might want to grab this caesar dog food at eight dollars and then use that five dollar digital coupon which will make it this three dollars but remember we're going to maximize our savings even more because we're also going to be combining this with that five off of 25 coupon and y'all if you didn't see my haul from last week definitely check it out but on this account that i'm using today i actually have the same digital coupons and rebates similar to last week so i'm actually probably going to add those some of those items in as filler items so remember select off products are 675 but remember make sure you're scanning because i plan on using a three dollar digital coupon and then we also have a three dollar cash back offer that if you saw my haul from last week, I actually got back. So because some of these are $6.75, it's going to make them $0.75. Cents. So I'm just going to grab the one I grabbed last week. Um, but again, cater it to your need. And then not all of the off products attached to like the $3 uh, cashback offer. So it's definitely going to be important to scan your items. And then y'all next, I'm going to come down here and grab this Lysol like air sanitizer. It's actually $7.35, which is another reason why you never want to trust the price tag. Always scan. Um, but these are $7.35 and we also have a $3 digital and a $3 cashback offer. So that's going to make this just $1.35 when it's all said and done. So if you're one that has a lot of DG cash, this is definitely a great way to like roll your DG cash into more cash. So let's get this added to our cart. And then uh, similar to last week, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these 50 cent um, like greeting cards because we do have a 50 cent digital coupon, which is a dollar general store coupon that was attaching or it is attaching to some of the 50 cent cards. Now, remember, dollar general won't make it just completely free. So with that store coupon, it's just going to reduce down to 49 cents, which is going to make it just a penny. So if you're a little bit short of that $25 mark then you definitely probably want to add in something like this but again make sure you're scanning so you can confirm the price and that your uh, coupons are attaching and then this next item I was actually really excited about especially if you're one that needs makeup and maybe you like Maybelline I noticed we had a three dollar dollar general store coupon and then we also have two different like cashback offers I know we have like a $2 cashback offer. That's the one I plan on using uh, for like the eye pencil and or, or eye product. And then we have like a $1.50 cashback offer for like the other products. So I noticed that the $2 cashback offer, it does work. Um, I mean, the $3 cashback, I mean, the $3 dollar general digital does attach to these, which are like, I think like $5.35. But the cashback offer doesn't attach to these. So the next cheapest thing is going to be these mascaras right here at $6.35. So when it's all said and done after that $3 digital and the $2 cash back, it's going to make these just $1.35. And y'all, another great filler item you might want to uh, add into your scenario, especially if you have a lot of DG cash or DG cash you want to use to like keep rolling. I noticed that we had $2.50 cash back offers for the Glade. And it works for like the starter kits at like $3.75, which my store is out of. I noticed that it even works for like the Air Mist like spray kit at like $6. And that it also works for these double packs at $3.75. So you could add that into your deal and maximize your savings even more. And then another item, if you still have your $1.50 digital for like Febreze products, you could even add in some of the cheaper products at like $3.25. Y'all, I'm definitely probably going to be changing my breakdown around because I was looking through my coupons last night and I was like, hold on, wait a second. We have some coupons for like the raid. We have like digitals and we have matching um, like cashback offers. So if you've been following me, you know, a lot of times I'll still get the cashback even though I use the digital. So I noticed it was attaching to like these right here as cheap as $4.50. So that's going to make it just $0.50 cents when it's all said and done. So what a great way to use your DG Cash that you might already have and kind of keep it um, going. So definitely not a bad deal. But maybe you need some of the more expensive products. Always cater it to your need. But definitely make sure you're um, scanning. So this is the $2 digital that I'm talking about. And on this account that I have, I don't have the cash back offer. Or maybe it went away. Hopefully it didn't go away already. But um, as you see, it is attaching. And then we do have a cashback offer. Oh, there it goes. 
it just didn't pop up when I just searched for a raid. But there, there we go, right there. And see, they're both attaching to the 450 product. So a great filler item. All right, y'all. And I think I'm just going to grab the Aquafina water. I know I could get more kind of if I grab the Pepsi, but I think I just want the water. And it's 25 cents cheaper, so why not? Y'all, this is why it's important to scan. That 75 cent digital we have for the Kool-Aid is not attaching anymore to the like 34 cent ones. I was going to add these just to get a little bit of overage. I noticed though, it is still attaching to like the dollar fifty kind of like drinks. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, but this could still be a filler item because at least you'll still get 75 cents off. Yeah, I do plan on doing a game scenario. So I did want to show you which coupons you want to clip, but remember to switch it to your preference. So you definitely want to have that five off of 30 gain digital clipped. And if your store isn't updated, then a great way that you can stack the five off of 25 coupon. And then you want to grab the gain firework beads right here at $9.95. Use that $3 digital. I found mine's on the end caps right here. Now alternative which would be a dollar more you could grab the game liquid at $9.95 or like the dryer sheets and then use that two dollar digital actually wait i think it only works for the liquid no it does work for the dryer sheets or even the powder detergent but again you would end up paying about a dollar more uh but again switch it to your preference and then we're going to grab one of the game products at $7.50 and then we're going to clip that two dollar digital so that includes the fabric softeners the dryer sheets you could grab a firework bead or come down here or grab a liquid detergent at $7.50 or even the flings. And then we're going to grab one of the firework beads because we have an exclusive coupon just for those for $3. So we're gonna grab a firework bead, but definitely make sure the other game product that you decide to pick up at $7.50 is rung up first. So that $2 digital works attaches to that. And then let me show you that coupon for the firework beads you wanna have clipped. So this one, right here all right y'all so here's a nice little deal that you can do especially if you want that once again scenario you want to pick up the double pack gain scented for breeze spray so it's going to come in a packaging like this my store is out so i just factored in the singular ones now you could do a singular one and use that dollar 50 digital because that's what i plan on using for this double pack but you would need to add something else in um or maybe you could just keep it like this but your out of pocket would roughly be a little bit more since these are 325 each and the double packs are 550 and then you want to grab one of the game products at $7.50. You can get the flings, remember, fabric softener. You can even get another firework bead or a dryer sheet. And then we have that $2 digital. And then grab the firework beads because these are $7.50, just like the liquid. But we have a $3 digital. So definitely make sure this product, whatever product you decide to get, is rung up first. Because we want the $2 digital to attach to this and the $3 one to attach to this. And then I added in the Mr. Clean at $4. We're going to use that $0.50 cent digital. So this right here is gonna end up bringing us to $30, y'all, in 50 cents. So don't forget to clip that five off of 30 gain digital and your five off of 25. So this is only gonna work if your store is not updated, like it doesn't have like a self checkout, or if you know how to use updated stores and use the five off of 25 with the five off of 30, then by all means, then it will come out the same. So this is gonna end up being just $11.50 y'all before tax when all of our digital coupons come off, making each item just $1.91 y'all each. So not bad. And remember, there's so many other ways you can switch your deal around. I, do, I did have another scenario with like the Mr. Clean Freak. We have digitals for those. We have digitals for some of the like $9.95 game products like this one. We have a $3 digital. We even have a $2 digital for like the next size up uh i think these are like not the ones that are like 9.95 so again y'all so many ways to get to that 30 dollar mark but i did just want to show you that um <clears throat> excuse me amazing game scenario and if you made it this far in the video do me a favor and like the video and subscribe and be sure to comment down below the word mr clean for breeze or gain so i know you made it this far in the video all right y'all so Y'all let me know. I want y'all opinion which one you think is the better deal. I'm probably going to still end up doing both. So this is transaction A. So we're going to call this A. So if y'all like A, y'all comment A. But make sure you see both transactions first. 
So I grab one of the 50 cent birthday cards or just greeting cards. I'm gonna use that Dollar General 50 cent digital, but remember it's gonna reduce down to 49 cents, making it a penny. And then I was like, you know what? I really wanna try these flaming hot ones. I didn't see them on any of the listed eligible items. So I'm gonna test it out and see if that $3 coupon still comes off because these are $3.45, just like the regular ones, like I factored in last week. And then I got the Pepsi to 50, use that $3 digital when you buy the chip and the Pepsi product then i have the lysol 735 we're going to use the three dollar digital and then i have the off 675 we're going to use the three dollar digital and then i have the raid at 450 we're going to use a two dollar digital and then remember we have a uh, cashback offers for three dollars for the lysol three dollars for the uh, off and then two dollars for the raid but this is going to total us 25 dollars and five cents y'all so don't forget to clip your five off a of 25 coupon and when that comes off and all our other coupons at the register we're going to pay eight dollars and 56 cents so this is going to be a great deal to do if you are one that has like dg cash because that's what i plan on using the pay so i don't have to use any of my personal money but you would pay the 856 before tax and then we're going to get back eight dollars in dg cash making everything here y'all 56 cents or nine cents each which is amazing considering what all we're grabbing so if you're one that is not really a beginner couponer but maybe you're one that's a little more advanced and you want to learn and maximize your couponing savings definitely be sure to sign up for that three-day couponing workshop i'm hosting september 5th through the 7th so we can dive deep into how you can truly maximize your savings at places that you're going to be couponing at but y'all this is the first transaction so this is a now let me show you b all right y'all so with this deal this is a uh, transaction b so y'all let me know if y'all like a or b i need y'all opinion so uh the see the dog foods eight dollars you're gonna use the five dollar digital the off is 675 we can use a three dollar digital the aquafina is 225 and then the frito like cheese dip is 330 we're gonna use that three dollar digital i got the 50 cent birthday card again we're gonna use the 50 cent digital and then i have the raid at 450 again we're gonna use the two dollar digital this deal is gonna bring us to 2530 but when our five up of 25 comes off and all our other coupons, we're going to pay just $6.81 before tax for all of these items. But another deal to do if you have DG Cash, because that's what I plan on using. I actually plan on rolling the $8 from this that I'm getting back to this one. Um, and then uh, when it's all said and done, again, it's going to total us just $6.81 or $1.81 um, after the $5 in DG cash, we're getting back the $3 for the off and then the $2 for the raid, which is then going to make all six items just 30 cents each, y'all. So between both transactions, that's uh, $1.81 plus 56 cents. That's what less than $3, y'all, for all of these items. So let's head to the register. Let's check out. Again, I'm going to do this one first and then this one a uh, second. And remember, um, the DG Cash is like a gift card. So I realized I was able to use like DG Cash. I had a one account to still pay for the transaction on another one since it's kind of like a gift card. If you're wondering like, wait, how can you use the same DG Cash? That's yeah. how. All right, y'all went ahead and checked out. Let me show y'all the receipt. And y'all, I made a minor hiccup. So here's all the items that I picked up. There's the munchies. The hot ones did work um they're 345 there's the pepsi 250 the three dollar digital came off but it's going to come up as a store discount since that's a dollar general store coupon um and then there's the off 675 the three dollar digital came off there's the lysol 735 the three dollar digital came off there's the raid at 450 the two dollar digital came off there's the greeting card at 50 cents and then that 50 cent coupon did reduce down to 49 cents leaving me to pay 856 like i planned before tax y'all why did i forget to clip the two dollar cash back offer for the raid because i did get back the six dollars in dg cash like the three dollars for the lysol and the three dollars for the off but i was like why did it get six and not eight and i looked and i didn't even have it clipped this is why it's important to make sure you're scanning your items y'all i think i got confused with the accounts i was using so i didn't get that two dollar cash back but i know i would have gotten it back since i did get the other ones so what i'm going to do is in this transaction make sure i have it clipped so i can show you that um it does uh work but i did just want to mention that so what i'm probably going to do is just return it since i didn't get the two dollar cash back for that second uh, for that first transaction but let's head to the register for this second transaction I picked up this as a backup just in case the three dollar digital doesn't come off for the cheese all right y'all i went ahead and did that second transaction and i did remember to clip the two dollar cash back for the raid so we still gonna say that that first transaction was a um 
uh, 56 cents because technically I would have got it back. I just made a simple mistake. Um, but I did do a refund and end up getting back like a dollar and something because you know it takes it back after, uh, takes the amount like after the savings you get and things like that. Um, and then here's the second transaction and everything went up beautifully my total was just like i planned 681 and now i'm just waiting to get the dg cash but by the time i edit this i'm sure i'll have it so i'll pop it here on the screen so i should be getting that five dollars in dg cash two dollars for the raid and then three dollars for the off which is then going to make this just 181 y'all so y'all this was everything i picked up today well before the refund but everything here y'all if you do it the correct way it's going to cost you just 237 before tax so not bad to get everything you see here so that's 12 items y'all so that makes each item just 19 cents each so again if you one that wants to truly master couponing and maximize your savings and reduce those couponing struggles be sure to sign up for my three-day couponing workshop again you can click the link in the bio or just head over to my website heyimd.com so again it's going to be september 5th through the 7th so reserve your spot today but until next time i'll see y'all later bye, -bye.